Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, we're going to be doing a restoration project today to restore this Dake number one and a half Arbor Press. And spoiler alert, here it is. I've already got it restored here at the very beginning. Uh, but actually in this video, we're going to be going through the process of taking this thing apart, uh, doing a restoration on it, putting it all back together. Now the story on this is, is I've had this Arbor Press for quite some time, several years now anyway, and I recently picked up a bigger Famco floor mounted uh, Arbor Press, which is something I've been wanting for a really long time. And when I got that, a friend of mine, uh, a viewer of the channel, contacted me, said, hey, would you be willing to sell this one? I said, yeah, I would, because uh, actually I needed the room in the shop. And he said, well, I'll buy it from you. We worked out a price, but the caveat was, was that I had to restore it first. So anyway, here we go. Let's get in there, restore this Harbor Press. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get in here and take this one off first, get the hand wheel here. There's a little set screw there. There we go. Okay, so there's some little brass shims behind this, or maybe not even brass, it's just some, like some gasket material, but uh, that gives that clearance in there. Oh, looks like there was only a piece on one side. Interesting. All right. And we've got some a little adjusting screws here on the side to take up the play going in that direction. And let's see, we got a snap ring on this one holding that in place. Let's see here. There we go. I'm not trying to take a whole lot of off of that, but it's not wanting to. Yeah, see now it's just coming right off. So there's just a little burr on there. You know what, this one here, same thing. You got the gear, but it's kind of got some little wear in there and I'm just gonna leave this one in place. There's just no real reason to take it out. So um, I think this one's ready to go over there and we're gonna get the paint stripped off of it as well. Well guys, we uh, took all the castings and so forth and I did this off camera. You guys don't wanna see me stripping and paint off and, and repainting, but the process we used was uh, I, I took this out, we first pressure washed it, just cleaned it up. I then put a, a chemical stripper on here to get any paint off that we could, let that bubble up for a little while using citrus strip, and then hit it with the pressure washer again, knock that off. From there, it was to uh, an angle grinder with a wire wheel, get anything else cleaned off finally off here, rust, little bits of paint, whatever. From there, uh, it got painted. Uh, we went with this uh, machinery gray and uh, had a little fun. <laughs> had a little fun with my uh, uh, person I'm doing this for. So uh, I actually, uh, actually, we gave it some pink underwear. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I got some pink paint and I actually painted a little bit of it and took a picture. I posted it on Instagram talking about what a pretty shade of pink I had picked out for my friend. Uh, but uh, in the end, we covered it up with the, the real paint. Just a little, just a little having a little bit of fun there. I put a little picture there of the, of when we had this thing painted pink. Uh, and uh, truth be known, she is wearing pink underwear, at least right up in here. So we just painted right over the top of that. Pink's a good primer, right? Okay, enough on that. From there, it's, it's all back together and we are ready to reassemble this. I've got everything cleaned up and uh, let's go. We highlighted the letters here with white, as you can see. Uh, that's what my customer wanted uh, on the white instead of the black there. But let's, uh, let's put her together. So first things first, we have the, the part that goes up and down here, the ram. I'm gonna put just a little bit of grease back there in the back. 
So I just got some Teflon grease here. This is just some stuff that's been sitting around the shop. Um, hardly even been used. Uh, I'll just use a little acid brush. I'm gonna put some back here on this gear that's gonna run on that rack, just to give a little bit of lubrication. I'm not wanting to make it too greasy or uh, it'll make a mess, but a little bit back in there won't hurt anything, so. Come in here with the rim. There's a little spring here, and this is to just put a little side load on it, and there's a set screw that pressure, puts pressure on the spring, but I'll just take a screwdriver and kind of get it past this spring, coming down through there. There we go. And then get it onto that rack. I'll get the rack onto the gear there. And we'll just let it come down now. And uh, we'll do some work to this daisy wheel before we put it on here, but this will at least kind of keep it from falling off. So there we go. And then we got our cover that goes on the front. And uh, there were some little spacers back here behind this, so we'll put those back in. It's just some gasket paper. I thought it was only on one side, but when we got to cleaning, it was actually, they had one on both sides. All right, we get this plate ready to go back on here. I got my little gasket back there behind it. We'll get one of them kind of started up here. Get my other gasket and another one started back here. Get that gasket lined up. There we go. And tighten these bolts up. We should be good to go. And that's going up and down nice and easy. Got a little uh, set screw on the front here. This just kind of puts some uh, tension going back where you can tighten up some adjustment in there. And same thing here on the side. There's this one that comes in on that little spring uh, where you can adjust that, the tension of that thing. So we'll get those in there. Next thing we got here is our little hand wheel on the side. And Go ahead and get this going back on here. And then we got a little set screw that goes in the top here and there's a little flat on that shaft. But this set screw should uh, come right down on. on there good. And now we're ready to put our little mechanism here that has the little pawl and ratchet. So we got a ratchet here, there's a little pawl back here in the back that fits on this uh, lever arm. All this fits in here. And and we have a snap ring that fits over here that holds all this in place. So let's see if we can get that out. There we go. And with that, just like it's supposed to, very good. I will comment here that when I got this, it had this a big counterweight that was welded on the back back here that was not original to this and just kind of looked bad in my opinion. So I took a 
grinding wheel and we, our little cutoff wheel, we, we cut the weld off. I, I reground that in there where it gets it back to the original configuration. I just didn't like the way that they had done that. Next thing I want to do here is we got the daisy wheel. The daisy wheel sits here and it's designed where there's a pin that rotates. The pin is missing. Uh, it just kind of sits up on here, but there's a hole there. And uh, this rotates around and depending on what size shaft you're pressing or whatever, or if you just want a flat place, you can turn it to a position that suits your job. Uh, it's kind of beat up, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to the lathe. I'm just going to face the two faces on here to kind of get it cleaned up. It shouldn't have to take off a whole lot of material to do that. And uh, then we're going to get a pin put back in there so that this is uh, back the way it's supposed to be. So over to the lathe. And then we'll face down through there and clean it up. I'm going to probably do this in a couple of passes. I just don't want to take any more than I have to. So we'll take a light pass and then come back and take another pass if we need to take a little bit more. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a little bit more not liking the way that cleaned up in there. It's not, we're not gonna be able to get it perfect, but uh, I think we can do a little bit better than that. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's probably about as good as we're gonna be able to get it. So uh, I'm just gonna live with that. We'll flip it around, do the other face. See what she looks like now. I think we're probably just going to go with that. So we got our daisy wheel now all cleaned up. Looks pretty good. Um, I need to put a pin in here. So I've got, it's just a half inch pin and it's, it's a tight fit in there. Uh, I'm going to press it in just using the arbor press. I think I'm going to put a little Loctite on it just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So um, I'm just going to put a little dab of Loctite around this. And we will drop that right there. And press it in. I'm going to just put my finger up underneath here. I can feel that when it gets flush. I think that's good. Flip it over, make sure we're good on the top and that feels fine. It's actually a little bit below the surface, which is good. And that pin will just uh, drop down into this hole here. Here we go. And now we can select whichever um, size we need. Here we go. I like it. So now you can see we have our daisy wheel on here and we can choose whichever size slot we want, depending on what we're pressing or even go to one of these uh, areas here if you're doing something flush and uh, everything's good. So, and it goes right down to that. So I think we're getting pretty close. Uh, got a couple of little oil holes in here. Put a little oil on the shaft, I was one on this side. 
and one on the other. Feels good. I'm just gonna put a little in the Take this set screw out and put a lock washer or lock a lock. Uh, let's jam that up underneath it just so that we can adjust it a little bit better. I don't like the way that is right now. Well, guys, I think we're about through with this little restoration project, and uh, I almost hate to let this thing leave the shop now. Uh, like I said, I was doing this for a person who's purchasing this one. Now that I've got my big Famco press, I decided to let this one go. And uh, eh, I'm kind of regretting it already. It's, it's so nice. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but I've had this press now for a couple of years. And I've been meaning to get around to, to restoring it and just getting it where it's all like it should be. And they're just little things that have been driving me crazy on this thing for a long time, like the hand wheel not being tightened up like it needed to be. That's fixed now. The daisy wheel not really pivoting like this because I didn't have the pin in there. Uh, that little piece on the back here that was just aggravating me. Now this thing's in, in tip top shape and, uh, <laughs> and now it's gonna be leaving. So, uh, but that's all right. Uh, I've got another good one over here that we're gonna be taking put in my shop and I will be delivering this uh, here in a while and I'll take a camera along with me when I do and we'll uh, let you know who's getting it and uh, let you kind of see it in its new shop. I do still have just a couple little little small things that need to be done. I've got a reproduction tag that Tom Utley is doing for me on the front here. And, uh, and I wanna, uh, there's a, a little adjusting screw here on the front that uh, puts some pressure on this bar and it's loose. It's kind of just loose and there's a set screw and I want to get a, uh, a lock jam nut to go in there so that it, it can be tightened up and put where it needs to be and I don't have a jam nut that size. So I'm gonna have to get order one of those. But other than that, it's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much ready to go. And this thing is working better than it's ever worked before. So um, anyway, I, I hope that the person that's getting it enjoys it and gets a lot of good use out of it. This has been a fun little project fairly simple restoration project. Uh, again, a good beginner project for someone that wants to uh, get started in doing some restoration work. Find you something that doesn't have too many moving parts in it and uh, go through it like this thing here. And uh, you, it's, it's, it's a good place to kind of start learning those skills. So with that, that's gonna be a wrap on this episode, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, Leave me a thumbs up if you like what you see and comments are always appreciated. We'll talk to you next time.